And Jimmy Carter is recovering in an America's hospital after hip replacement surgery. The 94 year old fell and broke his hip yesterday morning while getting ready to go turkey hunting. President joked his main concern is missing the last week of the turkey hunting season. But falling and breaking a hip can have serious, sometimes life threatening consequences for older people. And Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin joins us now to talk about what's ahead for President Carter. Good morning, Beth. And good morning, Elise. Yeah, this is something obviously a lot of people are talking about. We've yeah. got some questions about it. So, what is the president looking at, Beth? in terms of recovery with this and his overall prognosis. So I think this is going to be, for him, a, a long road back. Uh, he's 94 years old, as you said, and when you fall and break a hip, that can kind of trigger a downward spiral. Uh, important in him um, that he gets really back on his feet as quickly as he can after his surgery, that he gets really into physical therapy. He's probably going to need months of physical therapy, maybe three, four, five months of physical therapy, and I don't think he's going to be back to normal or feeling really really good again, probably for six months to a year. So we're looking at a significant recovery. That said, he's in pretty good shape for 94. Right. He's right. already been through a lot. He's been through more serious things than this malignant melanoma. He survived. Mm -hmm. So I think his prognosis overall is good. Yeah, and that's good to hear. It really is. So we often hear, though, that falling and, and breaking a hip or doing something like that can trigger a downward spiral for older people. So yeah. is that is that really true? It is really true. Um, it can be deadly for older people uh, because there, you know, studies have shown that about 30 percent of older people who fall and break a hip die within that first year. Um, I do think it has a lot to do with your health going into your fall. So if you were frail, if you had multiple health problems going into this, it's going to make the recovery much harder. In in the president, the former president's case, I feel like he, um, you know, is in good health. So I think that is going to aid him. So I think his overall prognosis might not be as dire mm -hmm. as looking at the general public, mm -hmm. most people his yeah, age. That's what it could be. So what are some signs, though, that, that you're at risk for a fall? So some signs that you're at risk of a fall, and I think it's important to to point out this quest this this whole story of, of Jimmy Carter points out that men can be at risk of falls too and men can be at risk of osteoporosis or bone loss too so I, I spoke to a doctor and she said you know one thing one quick easy way to tell if you're at risk for bone loss is whether you're weak so if you sit down in a chair and you go to stand up if you have to use your arms to kind of push yourself up off the chair if you can't just use your legs that's a sign that your muscles have weakened and that's a sign that you might be at risk of a fall really important to talk to your doctor about what you can do to, to lower that risk of falling because yeah. falling can be really serious very important information today yeah. obviously our thoughts are with uh, yeah. president jimmy carter all right thank you beth